something nasty. Yo, what's going on, guys? PRXP here, and today we have something to talk about that is game changing and also series changing for for the Call of Duty community. Now, this has a big impact for this for the company known as Infinity Ward because Mark Rubin has left the company. Now, I'll give you guys a second to let that sink in, but yes, uh, Mark Rubin, former executive producer at Infinity Ward, he, he, he quit just recently, and it just got announced a few hours ago. So not many people have this up on YouTube, and I may even be the first, but... Uh, but I'm probably not, but anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to read you guys some information and, and why he quit and just a little background on, on Mark Rubin, just in case you don't know that, don't know that much about him. But, uh, yeah, so Mark Rubin was the, the executive producer at Infinity Ward. He worked on Call, Call of Duty Ghost, and he was there since Call of Duty 3. Mark Rubin left earlier this year, but it, but it's unclear as why he departed and Activision declined to make a comment like they always would. And then Polygon has stated that there's no information on, on a, a replacement for Mark Rubin. So before I go any further, I, I, I just want to say, will this be another Modern Warfare 3? charity because if you think back a lot of people left back in back in 2010 and Mon World Warfare 3 didn't come up to the p potential that it had because they were a they had lackluster of uh, people and they needed more people and more devs and they had to hire more people and they had to make a game within like eight months or ten months or whatever so so the first question I have is will Call of Duty Ghost 2 or whatever Call of Duty after this will it be another Modern Warfare 3 letdown or will it be better without Mark Rubin even though he played a pretty big role like as his job position wise but yeah and anyway let's get on with the news in addition former lead the designer quantity Todd Adderman who left during the 2010 Infinity War Infinity Ward Activision lawsuit crisis he returned as the multiplayer project director Activision confirmed this he, he worked on designing multiplayer from Call of Duty 1 up to Modern Warfare 2 during, during his time at Infinity Ward, after originally leaving, he joined Respawn but left in 2012. Since then, he has been at Riot Games. And then he said the the chance to come back to Infinity Ward and call D something I didn't think would ever happen. He told Polygon and is prepared for a statement. And he said, uh, it's just been five years since I've been here and there's a lot of change and there's not a lot of new faces and motivated people who want to make something great. It's a really cool concept I want to be a part of and I can't wait to see with the new three year dev cycle. And then um, Infinity War has been doing many changes since 2010 after the big lawsuit. Co-founders Vince Zampella and Jason West departed taking many employees with them and they went to Respawn Studio and then last year Infinity Ward merged with Neversoft but anyway uh, over the past several months uh, Infinity Ward has been adding new developers to their team in July 2014 to people from Naughty Dog came to the team but anyway I uh, yeah that's it for the Mark Rubin news but if you want to read the whole article from Charlie Intel I will link that down below 
if you do want to read that. But yeah, so overall, Mark Rubin left in Infinity Ward, and and somebody who left in Ten Ten has came back, and he's the the, the new lead multiplayer project manager. So comment down below on what you think on on what you think how Infinity Ward games will be different without Mark Rubin. If you think they'll be different at all, or you think the, the, the next Infinity Ward game will be better without him. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. If you did, like and subscribe for for more great videos to come. Th thanks again. Thanks for for Zian Dubstep for l letting me use gameplay of his because my computer, you know, still not working. But yeah, guys, thanks once again. Take care for watching. And yeah, guys, peace. Yeah!